Talk to me. Hmm? Fans. Fans? Like, like an actual fan or like fans, fans of a fans show? A oh, fandomonium? Fans? I always got good energy for fans. If you say you a fan of mine, I'm giving you the good energy, no matter what. I can be in cuffs, and I'm gonna give you the good energy. <laughs> You'll be like, Tony! <laughs> I could be in my funeral, I'm coming out the casket. Oh, you a fan? <laughs> Sorry, the rigor mortis is kicking in. Even my ashes will come out the urn for fans. <laughs> I didn't know you was a fan. I look like Sandman, except I'm made of dead ashes. That was a tough one. You tried to kill me with that suggestion, but I had something for your ass. What else? The Oscars. Who? The Oscars. Oh, the Oscars. You got an accent there. I wasn't ready for that. The Oscars. The Portisciples. The peasants, if you will. The Oscars, man, um, you know what I'm saying? I want one, you know what I'm saying? I want one. I want one for best supporting actor, goddammit. I'm gonna go up there and I'm gonna give the Joe Pesci acceptance speech. I'm gonna be like, man, I really appreciate this. And then he walked off. That's what he did when he won for Goodfellas, you know what I'm saying? I'm slapping somebody, of course you gotta slap somebody now. This should be a tradition at this point. Somebody should get slapped every Oscars and we gotta, we gotta keep watching to find out when and where it's gonna happen. That way you get guaranteed ratings. Somebody's getting slapped tonight at the 89th Annual Academy Awards. Who will it be? Robert Redford. You never know who's getting slapped at the house. That's exciting viewing right there. I don't know who getting slapped this week. Kate Blanchett got the shit slapped out of her, man. They slapped her back into the orchestra pit. She fell off the stage. I know they'd be wanting to slap the orchestra players when they'd be up there running long. And I, oh, and I would also like to thank my mom. The trombone, they'd be coming in. Pack. I'm up here giving my acceptance speech. This is my moment, goddammit. What else? Fresh kicks. Fresh kicks? Damn, y'all running out of steam on the suggestion front. Y'all are bombing as suggestion guys. Fresh kicks, man. You know what, I never, I never got into sneakers until later in life, you know what I'm saying? I wanna be like y'all, toes out, you know what I'm saying? The pressure is out. When your toes are out, the rest of the shoe don't matter, you know what I'm saying? It's all about, I just want my toes to be out. I just need to wear a little barrier between my feet and the outside streets. The sandals, man, you know what I'm saying? The pressure's off. That's why they warm in biblical times, you know what I'm saying? Just, just straps and buckles walking around. I want to know what Jesus wore though. I'm dying to know his exact sandal game. I want to know what he had on. He's man, I'm about to change lives on these hoes. He be looking at his toes like, praise God, let's get it. Let's get it. I'll be out there. That, that's why I would time travel just so I can see Jesus' shoes. I'm like, oh, that's what he rocking. I knew you had the, the double buckle strap. He got the Leviticus sixes. <laughs> The Revelation 12s, oh shit, look at this. It's going down out here. Give me another one. <laughs> Who? <laughs> Kanye West? Man, y'all are terrible. Uh, y'all are giving me horrible suggestions. God damn, man, Kanye West. Kanye West, he always looked like he got some stuff in his cheeks. <laughs> It always looked like he was eating wheat thins and got caught, huh, huh? His cheeks always looked full like he was snacking, but he had them in his cheeks. You eating those wheat thins again, Kanye? Oh shit, I'm making beats. I'm the best of all time. George Bush don't care about black people. He had rich crackers in his mouth when he said that. Nobody knows about his cheeks. We don't talk about that enough, man, the cheeks. Kanye cheeks. Give me another one. Give me a good one, man. Y'all are tanking. Dentist appointments. Who? Uh, dentist appointments. Dentist appointments, man. Dentist appointments are tough. Teeth cleanings hurt. <laughs> they be going to work on your mouth. On the, on the cleaning, you go, we just gonna clean you up real quick. They be digging this shit. When your gums are bleeding, that shit hurts. I need them to realize this. <laughs> they, just be, they just be pushing through. I'm like, I know you see the blood. 
I look like Vlad von Dracula Mouthausen in the mouth. True blood Baraka. I'm just sitting here like, oh, oh, what brings you to Transylvania when I'm leaving the goddamn dentist, man? Sicko, go easy on our mouth. Just clean the teeth. They're not even trying to get softer instruments. Put some soft shit on there. You ain't laughing at shit, neither are you, and neither are you. I'm sick of your faces, goddamn. I'm sick of you three. Get the fuck out, man. You three right here gonna haunt my dreams. This guy needs to. Don't be trying to smile now. It's too late, goddamn. I've been watching you. Everybody else having a good time. We focus on the people not having a good time. Y'all look like Dennis right now, the tools. What else? Who? Edibles? Oh, y'all are trash. <laughs> y'all are running out of suggestions, man. Edibles, man. Everything's edible. Burgers, fries, what we talking about? Omelets, waffles, shrimp? Edible marijuana. edible marijuana, man. Let me tell you something about edibles, man. Edibles creep up on you unannounced. You want that shit to kick in when you're ready for it. Yeah, I'll have a brownie, sure. You know what I'm saying? You know, take the edge off, you know? It never kicks in when you want it. You know what I'm saying? I got social anxiety. We're at a party. It's going to be perfect right now. It kicks in later on when you need to be regular. When you're on your way home and then you got restless leg syndrome all of a sudden. You can't control your legs. I had edibles in Amsterdam once. I was tearing them edibles in half. I was like, when in Amsterdam? You know, I was just shoving them down. They never kicked in for hours. We on the streets. And then we went out super late. And then I was like, oh shit, something ain't right. It was like I was moving through Amsterdam, just floating through. Remember how Conan O'Brien used to come on and it was that fake Conan O'Brien going through the city? It was like a Spike Lee, a Spike Lee shot. I was just sitting there going through the Goddamn, but it kicked in at the wrong time. And then I'm in bed at the hotel, restless leg syndrome. I'm, like, I'm dying. I'm about to die in Amsterdam. Give me another one. Realistic conspiracy theories. Realistic conspiracy theories? You motherfuckers. Huh? What is that? What is a realistic conspiracy theory? Possibly believable. Give me one. Give me a realistic conspiracy theory as an example. Who? The earth is flat. The earth is flat. That's not realistic. That's some horse shit. That's what it is. Horse shit. The earth is flat, man. The earth ain't flat. I don't know what the earth is, mind you. I would love to see it from the outside, from the moon. I want to stand on the, because a lot of people think the moon ain't even, they ain't even the moon. It's a, it's a backdrop. <laughs> I'm like, how the hell is it a backdrop? I mean, think about it, man. You better think about it, bro. It's a big curtain up there. Who put the curtain up? You know how big of a curtain you got to have for the whole world to see the curtain? I used to think the moon was sneaky as hell, man, when I used to see it in the daytime. Remember when you first discovered that the moon was out in the daytime? You was like, what the fuck is going on here? What you doing out? The moon was like, I'm always here. Uh-huh, you're playing games. Goddamn. I used to think the moon was following me when I was a kid. Like, you could never escape the moon at night. We'd be driving, I'm like, it's still here, Mom. It's coming for us. It's full. Another conspiracy theory is, uh, what's another one? Um, conspiracy theory. Area 51. Area 51, that's one I'm intrigued by. Because I do, I do feel like, they got something going on in there. But what if they don't? What if they just want people to be interested in that bullshit facility? <laughs> it was like, we need people interested in this facility. Why? Just, just to get money going. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got aliens in here, but we don't. Don't tell them. They'll make up their own stories, and then it's going to be popping out here. <laughs> I don't know if they got aliens in there or not. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like aliens wouldn't get caught. Because you got to think, if they're intelligent enough and advanced enough to come here, to come here, given the, the, the enormity of the universe, they came here. They know how to do, uh, what's the, wormholes. You think they're going to die here on accident and get captured by us? I don't believe it. Like, oh shit, they crashed. Man, grab the body, grab his legs, grab his legs. 
throw his Martian ass up in Area 51. Gra grab him and hold him. Grab the helmet. Throw it up in there. They crashed in the 40s? Bullshit. Roswell? Bullshit. I don't believe they crashed. You know what I'm saying? But I do believe that there are aliens there. The only thing, I, the only thing I'm unsure on is if they came here. I believe there's life in the universe, but I'm not sold on them coming here. Because that, that travel life is... <laughs> You gotta figure it out. You gotta figure out the wormhole. Because they'd be like, man, the closest sun is 53 light years away. You know how far that shit is? You're not gonna make the trip in the regular ship. You're gonna die off. Like, man, we, yeah, we going to Earth, y'all. Pack it up. The whole family of aliens in there, and then, and then they grow old. The parents died off. The kids died. The grandkids died. They keep smashing each other. They running out of people to smash. It's a completely generational ride. We made it, y'all. What a trip. That's your great-grandfather when we first uh, took off to Earth, man. He was alive. <laughs> Family dogs is dead, man. That's a horrible trip. And when you're in space, you just, we just going to let you out. Once you die off, just open the back. Open the hatch. Whoosh, whoosh. Raw bodies out in space. That's a good way to dispose of the body, though. Huh? They did that in Alien. Yeah. Somebody died, they just opened the hatch. You see that body just... They <laughs> <laughs> were the first dude to die. They was just like, all right, yep. He, they, he can't stay in the ship. It's going to smell. <laughs> all right, uh, that's it, y'all. Y'all gave some horrible suggestions. I just want y'all to know that.